Hello everyone, welcome to my review of the Bambino Mio Mio Solo Nappy, which is a birthday party all in one. The Mio Solo is a great daytime nappy. It currently makes up the majority of my stash. I wouldn't recommend it for nighttime because it simply just isn't absorbent enough. And even if by adding extra boosters, you'll end up compromising the fit around the legs. Although it's a birthday party nappy and Bambino Mio say it'll fit from around eight pounds, I think the 10 pound mark is probably more realistic. It's a very long nappy. I've shown it here in the different rise settings. My baby is still, although rather tall, on the smallest setting, whereas in other brands of nappies in the middle or even the largest setting. So whilst this is frustrating for a smaller baby, as you get towards the end of your nappies, near a potty training, this will really last you where others will not. The Mio Solo is only available with a Velcro fastening. It is very easy to use. Probably the most similar to a disposable nappy that you can get. It has a tab here so you can overlap the waist to make it really small and a decent sized Velcro panel across the front so you can have a much bigger waist for larger children. There are also laundry tabs on the wings to fold back for when you put in the wash. I do find I have to be very careful with these when pulling them apart after washing if you look there, you can just see it's starting to cause a small hole. This won't affect the use so much, but I always make sure I hold the bottom before pulling that open. Inside the nappy is fully lined with a lovely stay dry fleece. This hasn't bubbled like some other nappies, and I find it quite resistant to staining. Let's take a closer look inside the nappy at the absorbency. In the pocket in the back, you can pull out the insert. This is all microfiber. They only make a microfiber nappy. This is quite frustrating because microfiber, whilst really absorbent, is prone to compression leaks and also sheds microplastic during the washing. I do wish they made a cotton or a hemp version of this nappy. Nevertheless, it is highly absorbent. You can expect to need to boost this nappy from around the four to five month mark, depending on your baby. A, by pulling this insert out as well, it helps you get the nappy cleaner during the wash process and it also vastly speeds up drying time because air can circulate fully around the absorbent core, making it much faster. In order to restuff the nappy, they've provided this helpful pocket which your hand slips in to push it back inside the nappy. In terms of boosting this nappy, I would always recommend using a natural fibre. Bambino Mio do make Mio boosters but again, they are just microfiber. It's pretty much one of these that you can put alongside. So it isn't gonna help with compression leaks. Personally, I like to use um, an easy peasy hemp booster. As I have a boy, I simply tuck this into the front here and keep it double folded over at the front. So when that's back inserted in the nappy, all the absorbency is at the front. If I had a girl, I'd simply lay it like that and then restuff. Another option, because I'm always a fan of using things you already have, is a cotton prefold. This is a muslins one, again in the newborn size. Simply fold it into the free. And then I stuff that in there. It's a little bit too thick to double fold at the front for a boy. So I do just tend to lie it flat like that inside, tucking it into that pocket. And it doesn't really add a lot of bulk. This will stop any compression leaks and allow you to get much longer out of the nappy. And for when it is time to wash, they've also provided these helpful loops here so you can pull the insert out. I would always remove the insert before washing rather than hoping that it will work its way out in the wash. The more time you can spend actually washing the insert and less time it bumbling around the machine, the better cleaning you're going to get. I find the containment of these nappies really good. They have a good quality leg elastic, which while strong enough to stop leaks and elastic at the back too, doesn't leave particularly bad sock marks on my baby. They look very comfortable to wear. One of my absolute favorite things about the Mia Solo, other than the ease of use, are the prints. This is what attracted me to the brand in the first place. There are around 20 prints. They have a couple of different collections. These are all from the Rainforest collection and they bring up around four new prints a year. The official retail price of these nappies is 
Bambino Mia also make bundles, which will bring down the cost of each individual nappy within that outlay. I personally have never spent the £15.99 on any of my stash. There are often discounts available to be had, and there's a link in the description box below to a cheaper alternative retailer for these nappies. Another great thing about the Mio Solo is how widely available it is. They are stocked in most major supermarkets and some baby shops, including independent retailers. They are also occasionally available in the Audi Baby events. This one from the Bugs Life collection I picked up at the Audi Baby event for only £8.99, so a discount to be had as well. One of the worst things about the Mio Solo, other than the microfiber core, has to be the packaging. I do understand that as they're sold in supermarkets, they need some sort of barcode or tag, but it's a lot of excessive packaging. So for one single nappy, here we have plastic wrap, a piece of cardboard, which is stuffed inside the nappy to help keep its shape, and this card wrapper, which has the barcode on. I would argue that's the only part really that needs to be included. I know Bambino Mia, Bambi Mia have said that they're looking at reducing their packaging, but they have just released, November 2019, some fleece liners to go inside these nappies. This is a new product for them. And again, it comes in all this packaging. That was a really op good opportunity to reduce their plastic. I love the cute prints, ease of use, and generous sizing of the Bambino Mia Solo. I dislike the microfiber core and the plastic packaging. Overall, I give the Mio Solo four stars. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content.